Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's Videocast. Of course, Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post. And joining me right now is none other than Ross Chastain, who currently drives the number 10 Nutrain AG Solutions. God, I hope I said that right. Uh, Chevrolet for College Racing. And he'll be driving the 42 Chip Ganassi Racing Chevrolet next year in the NASCAR Cup Series. Um, Ross, how are you? I'm doing good, man. A full, full day of media for our Xfinity Series playoffs ahead of taking our number 10 team with Nutrient Ag Solutions uh, is the, the way I say it. Everybody says it's a little different. Uh, so it's all good. But, yeah, we're getting ready to take uh, take this 10 team as far as we can into this playoff run. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a good day. Got to talk to you just a little bit ago. Yeah, I, I, I know. Um... Well, I kind of wanted to get into – I'll get into some of the Xfinity stuff a little bit because I know we kind of talked about that a lot earlier. But I want to get into this, uh, this cup deal that, that just got put together. When did you know – when did the talks begin about, possib- about this possibly going down? Man, I mean, these talks started in 2018, okay? This was – you know, the, there was a plan back then and, and a path. And when I got brought in – to CGR with Chip Ganassi Racing, you know, there was, it was kind of a, I mean, it was definitely a totally different world and a lot has changed and a lot of us had to adapt and that's okay. We kept, we kept pushing. We all found different things and, and we were able to put this together, but um, it's, it's crazy that we were able to, to come back full circle, but we never left each other. I, I stayed behind the scenes at CGR. I worked with Josh Wise to be the best race car driver I can be, no matter what I'm driving. And, and he keeps my head on straight. He keeps me mentally strong and physically stronger. Uh, I've still got a long ways to go. Uh, but in the more short-term recent, um, it happened very recently, and uh, we made our announcement quickly. Yeah. Um, now, I, I do want to clarify something that you – can you – do you want to address what you said on SiriusXM earlier today about what possible Xfinity rides – yeah, so I don't. I, I gotta listen to it, but um, I mean, I yes, I want to drive in 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 as many races and race cars as I can. But I realize that the the focus is Cup. The focus is the forty two car in two thousand and twenty one. And just saying that out loud is absolutely incredible for me. But but yeah, if there's if there's opportunities and and the you know we can make it work and and feel like it's a good program and good for all sides. I'd love to run at college racing. Our, our relationship relationship, I hope is not over. And I don't, I don't think it is. So, um, I might've been a little overzealous on Sirius XM, but, uh, you know, Daniel Trotter, Larry McReynolds, they have a way of getting stuff out of you. So, uh, <laughs> they're good friends of mine. And, and, uh, you know, since I've came into the sport, have gotten, you know, to spend time with Danielle whenever she was, um, you know, hosting a lot of the truck stuff. And then Larry's son, Brandon, uh, just as a friend and, and a fellow racer. Yeah. Um, so, you know, of course, running in the Cup Series, but the main focus this year is the Xfinity Championship. I know I asked you earlier that you guys have not gotten to victory lane yet. I know you've been close several times, but what's it going to take to get that 10 car in victory lane in the next few races? And what tracks are you, are you looking towards to really do that in, in these next few races? I mean, what better time than the, the kickoff, the playoff run we win at Vegas? Um, yeah, for sure. We, uh, we will have a shot. That's all we can ask for. So, uh, I, you know, we're really close at Bristol. We've been very close, man. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, kick it off at, at Vegas, Talladega, another a strong super speedway track for college racing. Um, I mean, there's there's a bunch of them. That's what's so awesome and make, gives me so much confidence is that, we can go win almost anywhere and, and executing and getting it done is, is a whole nother thing, but I'm in a position to win a bunch of races. Yeah. Um, of course, heading into, are you, are you planning on running any more truck races for Nice? I'm working on it, man. Uh, that, you know, we're, I'm a, I'm a fluid guy. I, uh, just try to, you know, put myself in the best situation. So we'll see. Never say never. Um, you know, so far, I mean, in this, in, you know, college racing has really gotten, improved their program so much in the last, I mean, the last few years, of course, you know, AJ's got 
AJ's got wins. Justin's got wins. Of course, your win at Daytona last year. Overall, what have you seen in college racing that has really, really um, impressed you? Yeah, just the, the camaraderie. Um, we got, you know, you got three different drivers in three totally different parts of their career. And that's why I feel like we can get along so well. And then that just goes throughout the whole shop. Uh, when the faces of it, Chris Rice is obviously a face of this company that Matt Colleg has built. And, and yeah, we, uh, we genuinely do get along. So um, it's not always easy. It's not always easy when, when you run into each other, like I did at, at Daytona with AJ and, you know, wish I could take that back. But, um, you know, the, the people we've put together here is, is an awesome group. And it, it wasn't, you know, taken lightly on me, the fact that I would not be able to run full time for them next year. Yeah. Um, are the, do you, I know that, uh, I know that sponsorship is still being worked out for the cup side. Do, do, any plans with that or any announcements with that? In, in... No, no announcements. Um, Chip, you know, they'll, they'll take care of it. And, um, well, we've got great partners. We've got great partners in the past, you know, um, but no, nothing to announce right now. Okay. Um, so, you know, looking into Vegas, of course, you won there in back in 2018, and then that's kind of, this kind of that's kind of where it all kind of started for you at, with with Ganassi. Um, going back there this weekend, how excited are you to go back there? And what are the chances that you're going to be smashing a watermelon this year over there? I, I hope so. That's where the watermelon smash started. That was my first national series win in nascar in 2018 like you said in the 42 car so um yeah hopefully hopefully can we're, we're doing all the the little things right and all the right things right uh it's it's man it's not a matter of if we win it's when we win and and that's something i'm proud of that we've been able to build this 10 team into a, a contender each and every week so um yeah i hope so i hope that the track crew has to clean it up before the cup race on sunday and and uh, make them work a little extra saturday night yeah and one more question on the cup stuff. I know that Kurt Busch is going to be with as your teammate next year. How excited are you to have his experience working with you as uh, as part of that, as part of this, as part of Ganassi? Yeah, man, uh, absolutely incredible. Um, he's a, a champion, a future Hall of Famer of this sport, and uh, yeah, I'm going to lean on him. I'm going to lean on. You know, I, I have teammates now, and Jimmy Johnson on the IndyCar side, along with Scott Dixon, Dario Franchitti, like. These guys are legends, all of them. And I grew up watching them, and now I get to work alongside of them and try to learn from them. And that's, uh, that's, that's important. That's huge. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to the challenge. I know it's going to be the, the hardest thing I've ever done, but uh, I've got a good support system of fellow drivers to lean on. Hey. Chip likes winners, and you are a winner, and you are paired with a bunch of winners. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna be fun for you, uh, fun for you next year and uh, this year. And Rusk, thank you so much for joining us. I know you had a busy, busy day today, and I know you have more interviews planned later today. So um, thank you so much for taking some time out of uh, your busy day to join us. Good luck in, for for the Xfinity Championship. Good luck next year in the Cup Series, and then go go smash a watermelon this week. All right, man. Thanks. We're going to try. All right.